news in the world of Bell Bright. So many of you have been watching our early testing and have been excited, rightly so, about the upcoming early access game. The playtest just ended while I was in the middle of the game. Ah, and everyone now wants to know when is it actually coming out to early access? When can we play it? And they've been a little bit reticent to say exactly. Originally, the date was supposed to be Q1. Well, we're at the end of Q1. And they had said during this testing phase that they wanted to see how things go during this testing to make sure it's all good, no major bugs, before they put it to early access, which I totally get and appreciate. So now that the test is over, we get an update on their position regarding EA release date. So they thank everyone for participating and thank you, Bellwright, for letting me participate. It ended up being a lot of fun, gotta say. I really ended up getting into this game. They've been watching all of the streams and the feedback that they've gotten from people. And they say they wanna address this feedback as they approach release from making user experience as polished and streamlined as it can be. A lot of that I think went really well. There are some things where I think they need to give us a little bit more detail and how to figure some things out, but that's what guides are for too, right? <laughs> and building upon NPC behaviors in combat and when portraying life. A lot of the NPC be behaviors in Bellright, I was super happy with. I do think combat needs some tweaking, but I'll touch on details of the specific kind of stuff in my overview vid video coming out. So they say that they wanna reach all of our high expectations from the very beginning, and they have a lot of future plans for EA including new vast playable areas. They have talked about how the map is going to get even bigger than it is, greatly expanded progression tiers, and much more. I know a lot of th you are thinking horses, but hold your horses. They are looking at horses, but that will not be out until after early access, is the last that I heard. We'll want to make Bellwright a game that plays and feels as well as it can starting from day one. So you can kind of imagine where this is going. They do want to put out a super high quality update, even though it's in early access. Everyone knows I appreciate that very much from playing Valheim for all this time. And so that update date that we thought we were going to get when the playtest was over is basically not here right now. They say letting everyone jump in as soon as possible is our utmost priority right now. And with the work on improvements from all of our feedback, we'll soon be ready to let you know more regarding the release date. So here today, it is the 30th of March. Tomorrow is the end of Q1. And so that means that the release of the game is getting pushed past Q1. Sorry, guys. I'm a little surprised by this, honestly. The feedback that I've given them so far is that from my experience of what I was able to play in game for several days and other streamers and videos that I've watched along the way as well, I think it's good enough to go to early access. It, it was very playable to me. Of course, there are things that need to be adjusted. We're talking about early access. So my question is kind of like, how perfect are they wanting to get it to be able to release to early access? We don't want to end up in a situation like we did with, you know, long ago, No Man's Sky or a lot of the issues that Nightingale had. But how long of a delay does this mean? They have seemed kind of hush-hush, really, about this release date. But I appreciate them putting in the effort. In the meantime, I'm going to be putting out guides based on the play that I've been able to do so far. And, of course, I'll give you my overall review, what I think's good, what I think needs to be improved, and whether this is the right game for you. Make sure to subscribe, and until next time, happy gaming!